solve the following equation for the unknown. And we want to keep this as a fraction. So for all of these equations, whenever I try to attempt them, I will get rid of as much as I can in terms of simplifying. And um, this case has brackets that I see there. And I don't like having the brackets. So my, my first step, there's really nothing to do on the left-hand side here, yet at least. So I will take the right-hand side and I will bring this negative 1 over 6 inside of the brackets multiplying by each term. Okay, so as I said, so nothing on the left. Now when I bring the negative 1 over 6, I'm going to get negative 1 over 6x. The negative and negative and that will make this a positive. And now I have the 1 over 6 times 7, so that's going to give me 7 over 6. On the left-hand side, that remains the same. And actually, what I notice here is 4 over 8, I can reduce to a half. Okay, so notice that you can reduce that to a half. Now, if you didn't notice that, it's okay. You can carry it down. It's not a big deal. Now, next, what I will do is I'm going to simplify this okay, and collect like terms. So I'm going to bring in all my x's together, so all the terms that have an x. So these are the two right here. And then I have my numbers. Okay, So I have 2 over 5 and then 7 over 6 right there. So let me collect those. So let me shift this over to the left hand side and then let me take the 2 over 5 and I'm going to shift it over to the right hand side. So that's going to leave me with negative 1 half x. Okay, the sign changes so it's 1 over 6 x equals. Okay, now next I have 7 over 6 that's on the right hand side and I'm shifting over the 2 over 5 so it's going to become Okay, negative in this case. Now let's collect these. So you can find a common denominator. Uh, you can use your calculator if you like with your fraction button. Okay, so I'm going to just use the fraction button for this. So I have, okay, so negative half. Okay, so that's that plus the 1 over 6 that we have there. So I can hit that, and it is negative 1 over 3x. Okay, so that's on the left-hand side. Now on the right-hand side, right here, again, you can find your common denominators if you like, or you can use your fraction button. Now, if your teacher doesn't allow you to use it, then you will have to be um, working with the fractions directly. So here I have 7 over 6 minus... And this is 2 over 5. I'm going to hit equals and I'll get 23 over 30. Okay, so now I have this negative 1 over 3 on the left hand side, which I do not want to have. Okay, so this right here, I want to get rid of that. Now, to get rid of that, well, the negative 1 and the 3. Okay, so how I can get rid of it is I can multiply. Okay, for example, if I multiply by 3, well, then the 3 will cancel here. And if I okay, so divide by negative 1, the negative 1 will cancel there. And I can do that, remember, to both sides. I actually have to do that to both sides because it's an equation. So on the left-hand side, all I'm left with now is x equals. And now on the right-hand side... Okay, so I have it will be negative because I have a negative right here. So my answer will be negative. So this is negative, and I have to go ahead and try to multiply this. Again, you can use your calculator for this. I actually noticed that we have the 3, and the 3 goes into 30 10 times. So this actually turns out to be 23 over 10. Okay, and it is negative if you have to change this back to uh, mixed number, okay, then it would be 2 and 3 over 10, okay, or you can maybe leave it as an improper fraction. And that would solve this particular example, okay, so thank you for watching. I hope that you found this one useful.